Hi there. This is my homemade rocket launch controller. I made it from uh, parts that I had and parts from an electronics store. I got the project box from Active Electronics and uh, the, the uh, momentary contact switch. I used uh, a quarter inch mono audio plug and I shorted it inside to use as the safety. So when it's out, the circuit is open for the safety circuit. And then uh, when it's plugged in, it arms it and the green continuity light will come on to show continuity through uh, the wire to the, to the the rocket motor and then uh, the fire just hit the momentary contact. I put uh, banana plugs in the end so I could put banana plugs in. Uh, right now I just have it have it wired uh, with the wire bare wires going through the through the banana jack here. And the holes in the banana jack. Um, I also put uh, final feet on it. And I got these uh, clips from Radio Shack for the 12 volt gel cell and I had some zip cord old zip cord from uh, for a lamp. I used that and I also wired a, a, uh, a fuse in with that as well. It's a very simple circuit. I designed the circuit myself. It doesn't really uh, take a lot of electronic skill to do it. I'm an electronics technician but anybody can do can uh, put together something like this. And uh, I got the uh, this uh, smaller zip cord, it's speaker wire. I got that at a dollar store as well, so I got about 40 feet of this speaker wire with uh, small alligator clips that I soldered onto the end of it. Just uh, I soldered them on just for a better contact. And uh, that's my launch controller. I also uh, built my own launch pad as well. And I just uh, I used pine. I guess it's 2x2 two two pine. And uh, I had some scrap wood that I just made for the, uh, the top pad. And I'm using a cof old coffee can uh, bottom for the uh, for the blast shield. Got some. Got this uh, wire here just for the. And uh, I'm using a collar, a wheel collar for radio control airplane, just to uh, keep the rocket from going down completely onto the, the blast shield. Put uh, had some hardware already so I, uh, I, I put a bolt through it and uh, put this uh, wing nut on here just to, uh, to tilt it so I can tilt the, uh, the whole pad to whatever angle I want and then tighten it back up again and to attach the bottom feet on it I just uh, countersunk a hole in the bottom and uh, I had a bolt coming from the from the, the straight uh, top part coming through and uh, got a washer and a nut on it so I can uh, take it apart if I want to and store it So that's my uh, homemade launch pad. I was thinking of putting nails in the bottom of it, sticking out uh, vertically, just so uh, if I put it in grass, 
Uh, it keeps them more stable. I don't know if I really need to do that or not, but I might try that. I just have this pill bottle on the top so I don't, uh, nobody's eyes get poked by that rod. I just got that steel rod at a Home Depot. And I just uh, drill a hole into the, the bottom wood and I put a wheel collar underneath it too to uh, so I can position this pad anywhere I want on the, on the rod. So this uh, that's my launch controller and launch pad and I got my big Bertha rocket that uh, I built like six years ago. I only finished it this year in 2012. So plan on uh, getting this hobby into this hobby and uh, actually uh, launching some rockets this year. Anyway, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.